at a 1330 signal right here. I didn't turn on the camera because it sounded trashy, but that looks like a really old spoon there. Get it cleaned up. Hopefully it's got something, a date or something on the handle. That's pretty neat. Alright guys, I got a silver signal here. That's a 1345 at 4 inches. That's going to be a silver dime. in the plug there. Yeah, there it is. I see silver. Mercury dime. All right, let's get a date. I can't really tell what that is. All right, I'll put up a picture for you. Anyway, there we go. I don't know why the side of this hill was so popular back in the day, but I've been digging wheat pennies everywhere right here. I think I've got like seven or eight of them already, and I've got another signal, a wheat signal right here. No silver yet, but who knows? Digging these wheat, there's got to be a silver here somewhere. I did get a mercury dime just across that stream, but nothing on this side. There it is. Yep, that's going to be another wheat. They're just everywhere in this little area. Alright, we'll keep going and hopefully get a silver. I had a signal here reading 1231, which is pretty low, usually around a shotgun shell, but I've got what I believe is going to be a token here. That's a little too heavy to be one of those tax tokens, I think. Could be a, uh, I see a hole in the middle. It could be a school check or a bus token or something like that. Maybe a transit token. Nineteen thirty-nine at five inches. And that's going to be a ring. Yeah, that's going to be an old ring. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's an old one. Right, I don't think it's any kind of precious metal, but still cool. All right, then. I just got a 0930 signal right there and about seven inches down popped out a nice little musket ball there's jeff right over there all right i'll get back to you if i find anything else okay get a nickel signal here let's see what we get
do have a coin. Looking like it's going to be a buffalo. Yeah, sure enough. Okay, just got a 31 signal here and aggravated some dogs, but let's see. And we got a coin, looks like a quarter. Let's see, maybe it'll be my first silver quarter. And it certainly is. That is my first silver quarter. All right, flip it over. Let's see if I can get a date on it real quick. Let's see here. It is a Washington. I saw the eagle on the back. Okay. 1943. Awesome. I'll get it cleaned up a little better and get a picture of it. Fourteen thirteen at five inches, that's a pretty good nickel signal. Here it is. It is a nickel. Believe that's going to be a buffalo. Thirteen, twelve, six inches. Ten, eleven, six inches. A little low for a nickel, but who knows? When they get a little deeper, they read. Sometimes they read a little bit low. This one's not very deep, but it's not shallow either. Yeah, I think that's going to be a, probably a 22 casing. This is something small for sure. Yeah, there it is, 22 casing. Those will hit just below a nickel, and sometimes they'll sound just like a deep nickel. 1138, two inches, that could be a mini ball. Or token. I think that's a token. Yeah, that's gonna be one of those tax tokens. It's crusty too. All right, we'll get a better look at it later. Okay, guys, just dug uh, a big silver. One of my first ones, of my big ones anyway. Let's see what we get off of this.
Okay. Looks like a walking liberty. Sweet. Let's see if I can get a date off of it. Okay, I'm not seeing a date. It's kind of worn. I will get back to you on this one. Eleven thirty-three, four inches. Twelve thirty-four, four inches. That's right around the Indian range. <clears throat> Indian or a bullet? All right, it's out of the hole. There we go. Here's a coin, is it an Indian? Okay, that's definitely an Indian. Starting to see a date there. Just caked up pretty good. Okay, that's going to be an 1894 Indian head penny. Well, I didn't have the camera running because the signal wasn't all that great, but I just got an old ring. Uh, it's not any precious metal. I think it's probably brass, but definitely an old one. All right. 12, 13 at two inches. That could be a nickel. Yeah, it is a nickel. Probably going to be an old one coming from up here. I'm going to guess a V. At least a buffalo. No, that's a V nickel. I see the back of it now. You can see the V on there. I'm not going to be able to get a date right now, but that's definitely a V nickel. Thank mm -hmm. you.